Sweet. Let's pop out the chat. Pop, pop it both. And let's set this up and do a little intro. Good morning, everyone. Today is June 16th, 2019. And uh, we're doing a live stream on um, current events. Actually, I forgot to change the title on Twitch. So we're going to change it up on Twitch. Uh, let's do a little cut and paste. Open discussion on current events. And let's change that up. So anyone that's dropping by knows what it is that we are doing. And the tags is going to be ASMR because we're keeping it chill. And ASMR. And Keeping it chill, politics, and news. Boop. I think that's all we're going to do. Politics, news, and um, that's it. And done. Um, so we change it up. Hopefully it does change it. So I'm going to do a little refresh just to make sure. <coughs> well, it still says drop in math during the session. <laughs> So hopefully it does change up. Uh, the one thing I forgot to do. Oh, there we go. Open discussion on current events. There we go. Hello, Saint. How are you doing? Hope all is well. How is Europe? Let me pop out the chat again. Cool. Now we've got the chat going out. And we've got people rolling in. Okay. Fantastic. Doing good, thank you. Awesome, awesome. We had a nice chill math stream uh, yesterday. Tony Bus. Nice to catch you live, finally. I'm going to be uh, bagging and boarding some new comics I picked up from uh, from this in the background. Awesome. What did you end up picking up? Uh, Tony, I wouldn't pick that. What did I pick up this week? Um, I pick up the Valiance. I picked up the True Believer stuff. Uh, there's a couple of number ones that uh, Image released, so I picked them up. Um, Immortal Hall came out, I believe, this week. I grabbed the Spider-Man variant version. Uh, what else? I think Venom came out this week, or was that last week? <laughs> the bagging and boarding. Man, there was a period where it was just went ballistic uh, many years ago. I would have just comics everywhere, trying to bag and board them. It was just got out of hand. Have you been reading uh, uh, Middle West? No, I picked up the first couple of issues, but I didn't read it. Hannah, what's up? How's it going? I've heard it's really good. Double negative. Double HN negative. Double dub. It's not double, it's dub. Double negative. Double negative. Double negative. Double negative. That's what it is. Hey, worry. Hi, Chicho. Nice to catch catch up again. How's the weather out there? Here in London is doing only 16C, that's it? Normally at this time it's over 20C. Yeah, we're over 20C. It's crazy warm here. Uh, well, not crazy warm. It's warm. Very nicely warm. Okay. Hello, useless boomer. How are you doing? You should. It's incredible. Double O negative. Double O negative. I finally got it. <laughs> Double O negative. Yeah, I've heard it's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be fantastic. I wish uh, I kept buying the single issues. I haven't. I bought... The first one, I, I, there was a couple of different variants. I bought issue number one variant, one. I don't know, I don't even know if I picked up number two. It was on my radar, but because I'm, my budget is pretty low and uh, I'm reading mainly the True Believer stuff and doing some catch up readings and stuff. So uh, I didn't put it, on, put it on my pull list. Goody's reference. Goonies reference. Double O negative. Is it Goonies reference? Double O negative. From the movie Goonies. That was a fun movie, man. 
that was a fun movie i've been loving all the all things dc recently so i picked up uh deceased number one and two the covers for deceased number one and two were fantastic with the zombies i think it was zombie doomsday clock has been doomsday clock six to ten any recommendations Oof, recommendations you know what nothing recent i'm still picking up all my valiance right but i'm not reading them i've heard uh toyo harada is uh, pretty good uh, and then um, there's some of the ones valiant is putting out i've heard they're pretty good they're getting back into uh creating quality comics because they had a little dip in quality uh after the little turmoil right uh, but mainly what i've really been enjoying is reading all the reprints from key issues that marvel has been putting out uh some comic book uh what do you call it uh, the free comic book day stuff i picked up uh read those uh so i'm just reading randoms uh that's what i'm up to right now uh have you talked about the current events surrounding iran uh, we haven't we just started uh racer kill happy to talk about it uh for sure uh it's <sighs> let me catch up on the comments i've been late jumping and drinking nice with friends and my girlfriend nice we haven't started late jumping yet i we gotta do i gotta do i went to the beach a few times during the last couple of weeks where i did a fair bit of laying out work and stuff like this uh i i like i'm a nudist i like going to nude beaches and there's only one uh well there's one in my area here but there's one one in vancouver which is rated one of the top five in the world so i've spent many 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 days and weeks and months and years up there right greetings dr p how are you doing cliff jumping i haven't got a chance to go into uh get into this year yet the water is a little too chilly for me still seems dangerous lake jumping uh, lake is more dangerous than ocean i like ocean but if you know the lake if you know your surrounding area i uh, just check out the water and stuff we got a video out on cliff jumping great lasagna says hello chicho how's life i can't stay on a stream for long but figured it'd be nice to say hi and wish you all wonderful sunday wonderful sunday to you as well great lasagna thanks for popping by thanks for popping by not cliff jumping uh, lake jumping is just hopping from lake to lake but you can go cliff jumping into the lakes as well right uh, just jumping into the water and we aren't smashed just a little buzz uh i do it for medicinal purposes and to just sit back and chill yeah it's amazing just in our area there's a lot of lakes so you can and hannah's even though he's in the united states i'm in canada uh, we're very close to each other and in this kind of terrain where we live the pacific northwest there's lots of little lakes so you can just drive to one lake chill for an hour hour and a half and then hop in the pickup or your car and then sh drive to another lake and check that lake out and go for a swim you can find some lakes that very few people go to there's lakes that people take dog walking to me too why uh couldn't the uh angel get along why i have to chat theater guy why couldn't the angel get alone his parents wouldn't co-sign oh angle not angel why couldn't the angle get alone his parents his parents w wouldn't co-sign dante how are you doing brother welcome to another current events live stream lots of stuff going on eh? the beach is he uh, heavenly never done new beaches i would try it yeah the once i got rid of the stigma the programming of nudity is bad and stuff like this, this is many years ago over two decades ago right uh, it was very liberating very liberating liberating as Anna, uh, as you would say it's medicinal swimming in the ocean naked is life-changing yeah dr p says it swimming naked is amazing being naked is amazing our whole like 
there are people one thing i tell people is your skin is one of the largest organs the largest organ in terms of area i looked into this a long time ago so my stats might be a little off but it's a very crucial organ of your body it has a purpose all right it serves a function and it requires sunlight it requires breathing room space to breathe and filter and stuff like this i tell people that i cannot believe that there are people out there that the sun has never shone shine on their ass right like just imagine people many people in the world that the sun has never shine on certain parts of their bodies that's an organ that requires a certain amount of sunlight right uh, it needs to breathe so this is one of the best things i've done in terms of me health medicinal in my life which is shed my clothing and allow the skin to act as a, a solar cell and breathe and just be free lake washington and lake some some mish are absolutely gorgeous i bet angle yeah. i read it correctly on the second go third go uh theater guy am i worry i wish i could do nude must be so liberating but society brought us to cover ourselves uh for some reason yeah for shame for control really it's done it for control mechanisms right division united states we are far too strong yeah. the the programming by the way uh i'm a worry uh the programming was in me as well right remember i came from the middle east right middle east i came from iran until i was like 10 years old i grew up in iran and when i came here uh to canada when with school we would go to the pool uh, for swimming at a local what do you call it, a recreation center and stuff like this the first time i went into you know i didn't speak english and stuff like this so i was new like, tradition just, i didn't i didn't understand how things worked right so first time we went into the men's changing room with all the students and <laughs> the teachers and stuff like this and then i stood there and everyone just started taking off their clothes i was like oh my god i wasn't used to that because where i came from you had little cubicles little booths you went in there you changed and you came out you didn't go naked right so i would for a very long time i would go into the washroom thing close the door change into my swimming stuff and come out again right over the years slowly i realized that that was programming a control mechanism and that was uh, enslaving me really to just think in a certain way and slowly i started going to the nude beach or clothing optional beach half the time i would wear my clothes half the time i would shed my clothes and stuff like this and then slowly i just went man why am i wearing clothes like it just didn't make sense um, and i was lucky i had a very good friend that uh, he was a full-on nudist and he 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 guided me through the whole thing and stuff like this unfortunately he's not around anymore uh he passed away if uh, if you're a smoker stop smoking you will get lung cancer okay or the odds are very great that you will get lung cancer so stop smoking doesn't make a difference if it's one or two cigarettes a day or a pack right some people uh are the cigarettes will trigger <clears throat> the cancer cells to become to come out of dormancy and become active right intrepid hey chicho hope you're you've had a great week currently watching the stream in front of the ocean at my job and can feel the coating of salt water mist thing oh mist uh this old building happy to be here awesome intrepid awesome intrepid yeah that's man the beach is calming for me it's very medicinal and a lot of lot a lot of the work that i've done regarding the math videos the math content the articles that i've written a lot of stuff that i've done has been planned out 
laid out, thought out at the beach, okay, or at the lake, a lot of it. Tink, how are you doing? Glad I've caught this one today. Awesome, awesome. Sleepy waves, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. So a lot's been going on, current events. And one of the main things is the war drums against Iran, right? Isn't, isn't the smoking, uh, only smoking of cannabis cancerous? I know cannabis doesn't uh, give cancer, but the act of smoking uh, do so. Uh, to a certain degree, yes, Hannah, you're burning, right? And a lot of the damage done to your lungs when you're smoking is not necessarily because of the smoke but because of the heat and the smoke together in combination so the heat of the smoke going into your lungs that does a tremendous amount of damage one thing that happens with cannabis is cannabis opens up the lungs opens up the passageway so you're um it does a it, it does the reverse of what uh, tobacco does cigarettes do right so cannabis actually opens up your lungs so smoking you're burning uh, plant matter so there is a certain amount of carcinogenic stuff in there right but it's totally different than cigarettes cigarettes you're burning uh, like if you look at the ingredients in cigarettes it, it's horrendous there's benzene there's pesticides there's tons of stuff there right so there's a lot of chemicals in the tobacco that people smoke in cigarette form cannabis if you get your hands on organic cannabis and stuff it's not as bad but it is right it's not good for you uh but you know you have to sort of balance things out if you if it calms you down relieves stress then those factors come into play as well right but i wouldn't recommend smoking cannabis personally uh there are uh oils and uh vaporizing and edibles and stuff like this smoking anything is gonna be harmful harmful to your lungs without a doubt right Facebook doing full crypto uh, yeah I wouldn't put two cents in it personally I think anybody that buys Facebook crypto is uh, is the problem okay and I will definitely be trash talking anyone that actually any of my friends that are on Facebook that come to me and say, hey, Chicho, we bought Facebook crypto. And my reply to them would be, you're an idiot, right? You're buying into your own enslavement. Well, just mainstream crypto, mainstream crypto, but it's, it won't even be crypto, really. It's just the Facebook currency. And it might pop up a lot in value but when it busts, when it burns, it's gonna crash and burn hard, right? Canada, da, da, da. What about the bong or uh, bubbler? Yeah, Hannah, uh, with a bong, one of the advantages of the bong is because the smoke is going in and cooling down in the water uh, and then people are inhaling it, right? Uh, some people put ice in the bongs as well, so it cools it down faster ring the bells for the false flags ring the bells for the false flags right but we need to ask a lot of questions about after about us jumping to conclusions pretty quickly uh, about the tankers i would say himari when the tankers explosion happened the us wasn't jumping into conclusions they knew exactly what happened who did it and uh, they just trying to frame someone right it's like corrupt police policing right they go and plant drugs or guns or evidence on someone they want to throw in jail and you know to say hey we caught them this is what they have they take it to the court system the court system is bought and paid for a gazillion times over the judge says yeah I'll throw them in jail and innocent people go to jail right in this situation wars are waged by corruption right personally it just blows my mind that there are actually people in Canada United States that believe this garbage anybody that I know that regurgitates these lies that these our Western governments are putting out tells me a lot about their mental state 
their intelligence, their deductive reasoning, their logic, right? Anybody that actually that I talk to that actually comes out and says we should have gone to war in Afghanistan, invaded Iraq, bombed Libya, attacked Syria, uh, destroyed Yemen, and about to start a war with Iran. When they talk that way to me, their standing with me has gone down to a level of um, a, <laughs> to I mean anything I say is going to be derogatory is going to be uh, demeaning right their, their standing with me has dropped down to the level of a turd right and if they continue to regurgitate the stuff uh, I probably won't even invite them into my house anymore okay because I don't want that type of garbage around me okay just laying it out pretty hard the way it should be mainstream news points all fingers at Iran in flaming relations I smell Western propaganda I smell Western warmongering. I smell, I smell war criminals and warmongers, right? I smell people being programmed to, to sacrifice their children, their well-being in the future, for the sake of their stupidity. The U.S. just created Iran Mission Center to create the excuses to go to war with Iran. Yeah, they've been trying to do this for a long time. I put out an article back in like really iran has been their main target and i've written a lot about iran and why the western world wants to attack iran and stuff like this those articles i put out you know war on iran is imminent and stuff right now basically what's going to happen is the western world is going to try to strangle iran right that's an act of war where that's going to go is uh it is not good for anyone other than the warmongers the war criminals the military industrial complex the insurance companies wall street the bankers okay everybody else loses okay so uh, really there isn't really much more to say regarding uh, who is behind the war drums anyone that still supports the western governments in their warmongering is a turd <laughs> okay they have they don't have they're not a free human being they don't have critical thought they haven't put two and two together okay lately i've been in uh, several places where uh, franz fanon work uh, has come up do you know anything about him or france fanon i would have to see his face france fanon let me look this up france fanon france fanon i don't think so i uh, no, i don't france fanon is a uh, was a uh partition uh, psychologist philosopher evolutionary writer whose work are influential in the fields of post colonial studies critical theory and Marx said, no I don't uh, I don't know him he was born in uh, born in France that's cool no I'm sorry sleepy ways I don't know him very much about him or anything about him really uh, is run by CIA uh, Mich uh, Michael DeAndre US just created yeah it's like AFRICOM. They created AFRICOM how many years ago? Like 15 years ago or so. And as soon as they created AFRICOM, chaos in Africa exploded. More so, right? They destroyed Libya. AFRICOM created. Libya wants to go to gold standard. Uh, create an African based currency, gold standard, oil, uh, gold reserves, all this jazz, most of destroy it right i mean it will bring mainstream attention to all cryptos we'll have more people using uh dr p i don't um 
I don't I'm not in the mindset that it's a really good thing that people who are totally clueless of how currency and money and control and power works for them to digitize all their transactions right I think that's one of the main problems I don't think it's necessarily a good thing for cryptos to hit the mainstream right because people are buying into things that they have no clue of how they work and then when the inevitable poop hits the fan they go crying to the centralized power saying oh I was cheated I was lied to can you bring in laws to protect me and my stupidity right so I don't necessarily think uh, full-on mainstream uh, uh, adoption of cryptos is necessarily a great thing right because people don't have uh, first of all cryptos are still a complicated form of uh, transaction to a certain degree right uh, one of the reasons for that is because laws are being passed for in different co countries where if you really want to use cryptos to its full capacity you need to know how to bypass those control mechanisms right but one thing that happens is until landlords accept cryptos as forms of payment right uh, and the pr problem with that is right now with fiat currencies we need fiat currencies to live our daily lives so through the nodes of where cryptos are being uh, converted into different types of fiat those nodes are being monitor monitored right so I don't think people really appreciate that there's still tracking going on unless they're doing everything crypto and I know people aren't doing everything crypto and people aren't using crypto as a currency they're mainly using crypto as an investment mechanism right the reason I know that is because there isn't nearly enough transactions taking place online with cryptos people are buying and selling cryptos right but they're not they're trading cryptos but they're not buying services they're not buying products they're not uh, supporting other people through cryptos so cryptos are very centralized right now a ver very few people control the majority of cryptos in the world right so there's serious issues with cryptos that being said I did mention when crypto was trading above you know into the above 10,000 13 14 15 whatever thousand it was I mentioned that someone brought this up a few months ago that my target for Bitcoin was around 2600 and they came up when Bitcoin was trading around 31 32 and they asked me if it was a good time to buy uh, Bitcoin and I mentioned that my target was 26,000 or so but I said that little margin has already come down about 90 percent that was my uh, sort of target that from the peak it was going to be down around 90 to 80 80 to 90 75 to 90 percent or so so I said that margin was uh, irrelevant if it hadn't come down to 26 around the 32 or whatever uh, so I mentioned I believe that I would be buying if I was into trading cryptos now that Bitcoin is around 9,000 I would have already sold half of my holdings in Bitcoin if I had bought at the three thousand dollar mark right i would have probably sold it at around seven right now that it's at around nine i would probably dump another quarter of the original buy right uh it might shoot up to break previous highs it might come down i'm not sure where it's going um it needs a little bit of consolidation uh, but it's a trading mechanism right now all of those big cats big fat cats that are sitting on a lot of crypto a majority of them are sitting on it and converting it to fiat right um, cryptos went down a dark road we'll see where it ends up morning chicho what do you think about grabbing any any cheap crypto shares i find right now i wouldn't be buying cryptos right now zara but I'm not into the trading state right 
Well, again, it might pop up, it might go down, it might, it might consolidate. Personally, right now, um, I don't know. It could shoot up to 50, uh, Bitcoin specifically. Where are you looking looking to buy? Out of curiosity, Beyonce is ending service to US. Yeah, and there's a lot of regulations kicking in, right? So if you're buying, you gotta make sure you have it on a external, not holding it anywhere because all of a sudden they might go under. I used to use apps. I can't remember the name of it. It's a crypto specific app. Hopefully there's no war started with Iran. Uh, especially because I will be joining the Marines in late November. Intrepid, you mentioned this before, right? Be careful, brother. Be careful. Just look into who controls the military right now and why they had sent their citizens, those in the military, to go wage war for the last minimum for the last two decades uh, when you join the military you are signing away your freedom guaranteed obviously you know that you are accepting the fact that you might become canon father right that you are forfeiting your rights to your life and your choices right now i don't know any leaders that any have that i would put any trust in to have the best intentions of their citizens and of their militaries in mind they are waging war for bankers for the military industrial complex for the 0.001 percent right there are good things associated with the military to a certain degree if you're trying to get an education, healthcare, and stuff like this. But one of the reasons a lot of that is not provided in the Western world uh, to a significant level is because they need people to join the military for those purposes. Why education is so expensive, right? Oh, wow, there's a lot of chat going on here. I got to catch up. I don't even read the news anymore and I don't own a smartphone and I use uh, Linux and none of the mainstream social medias Facebook Google Instagram whatever I think my next thing is to start using physical currency exclusively that's one of the things I do I use cash right it might be tinfoil hat here but I really don't like the idea of people having the ability to tap into every aspect of my life and sell it on 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 top of that yeah you uh useless boomer i'm 100 with you if i'm being honest if it's not iran it will be another country the military industrial complex is full uh thank you for the cheers uh vote democrat <laughs> that joe biden's face jesus christ <laughs> complex of full power right now uh yeah they'll try to wage war and everything the the waging war aspect is this in 2000 the 2001 the u.s economy should have completely collapsed it didn't one of the reasons is 9 11 war with afghanistan in 2003 the u.s economy should have done another collapse another serious downturn it didn't because of iraq okay in 2008 we saw the bubble burst and then war is going hardcore right because the main uh, one of the largest contributors to the u.s economy is the military war machine right and when they're inflating bubbles like this every time the bubble is about to burst for you to be able to inflate this bubble you need a bigger war than the previous one iran is the mother of all wars right aside from china or russia right and i there's no way the united states will conventionally militarily attack china or russia it's not gonna happen okay iran is the biggest game in town that is a non-nuclear state and has no intention of becoming a nuclear state okay iran if anything happens with iran 
what's going to happen is that event is going to feed the US economy the the war machine for years to come right the US economy is a bubble it's a consumer based economy but it really the backbone of it is a military okay so they need to inflate the bubbles will they do it I really hope they don't I really hope they don't I don't even drive a car and ride a bike nice healthy living useless boomer you're very right it's only a matter of time it seems all right it's insane how Iran is treated not because Iran is perfect but because countries like Saudi Arabia are also problematic in several ways but they are allied with US so they're treated much better hey, a racer kill here's the thing right I agree with you here's the thing with the United States and the Western world and their allies in the Middle East the allies in the Middle East for the Western world are dict dictatorial countries brutal dictatorships as well as an apartheid state right Iran with all of its flaws is a democratic country it holds elections and the elections in Iran in large part are more legitimate than the elections in the United States all you have to do is look at the 2016 elections and we're not talking about Russia gate we're talking about what happened with Bernie Sanders the propaganda machine the corporate mainstream media the debates it's all corporate run right so the Western world is picking and it's not all the Western world the United States the UK okay Europe big chunk of Europe they're deciding that the most legitimate democracy in that region is deemed to be the enemy and then they come out and spew garbage saying we're trying to spread democracy around the world right again anybody if you're still watching corporate mainstream propagandists stop watching them they are garbage if you know of friends and family that are watching that crap once you've tuned out yourself and you have a reply to their propaganda you've educated yourself where you can dis not dismiss but just totally annihilate any debate regarding waging war right start making them understand that they are no intelligent they're a turd on the ground right yeah but we all use fiat uh, bankrupt warmongering dollars yeah with the majority not having a clue about how every dollar spent is used in fractional banking adding to the deficit 100 percent dr p even eisenhower warned about the military industrial complex it's on you search it up 100 percent yes i've seen it sorry but what's meant by fiat fiat chat sorry to be ignorant but to me that's a type of a car <laughs> this, this type of a car french fiat uh think fiat currency is basically a currency that centralized governments put out and it's not even centralized governments they pay interest to centralized bank to da, da, da. it's a whole shebang like that right so basically currency that a government has said this is our uh, national currency but it's not backed by any type of resources right it's just trust in the government so your government comes out and says this dollar is worth a dollar right they either peg it against other currencies or they let it float in the market right and the market uh, decides what the value of that dollar or that currency pound whatever the name of it is is on the international market and once it stabilizes then people trade accordingly right but if all of a sudden people realize that there's nothing backing that and the government's printing tons of money right and the country economically is not stable you're going to see the value of that currency drop right on the international market and basically you see inflation kick in and whatnot right you can take a look at zimbabwe venezuela you can take a look at the way currencies fiat currency trade 
against each other right and those currencies are hugely controlled as well right so basically fiat currency is a currency that is based on trust you can consider cryptos fiat as well because there really isn't any backbone for most uh, many cryptos there's really nothing uh, giving it any value it's just a trust it's a it's a place that you can cryptos is a sort of a weird thing uh, because people have faith that it's an investment mechanism right it's somewhere you can park your money because there's induced scarcity right especially with bitcoin there's induced scarcity right there's only a limited number of bitcoins that are going to be produced and it becomes harder and harder to mine them right so once you have one you know the supply is limited so the value will go up and the value will continue to go up with bitcoin if people continue to have trust in it and if the laws do not crush it right so you know the fiat currency is basically opposed to uh let's use the most generic one which is a gold based back currency right so for every dollar that you take into the bank you could get your worth of gold in like gold little nuggets right but it wouldn't be a dollar you would need a few hundred dollars to get a little bit of gold that you can actually see right i have a gardening question where do you grow your plants what's a cheap way to make a box out of reusable material the gardening boxes are very expensive do you know of any cheap alternatives hannah what i would do um go to construction sites right uh, preferably housing like if they're making house houses in your local area and they will be right detached housing usually if it's not a huge development right if it's one house being built in the neighborhood they'll have extra wood that they're throwing away right go talk to the uh, the carpenters or the developer or whatever just go there and ask someone who's in charge here right and you know they'll point you to the right person if it's a busy house that they're building right and ask them if you could grab some of the wood that they have that they're throwing away that's wood you can build things with as well as building boxes beds okay one thing you have to do you have to line that stuff properly so you build your box you got to put some rocks in the bottom and you know put your soil in and have some drainage systems and stuff you can look that up uh, online but the materials construction sites they'd be happy to give you the wood okay if they want a little bit of money for it you know if it's nice chunks of wood that they can't use but they can recycle or whatever it is offer them a little bit of money but you can get it down on the cheap or nothing okay i couldn't believe my ears when a u.s president was talking like that it was blatant thing fiat as a currency such as the u.s dollar or the mexican peso or the canadian dollar uh this is all fiat currency thank you yes shipping crates uh at any local grocery yeah shipping crates as well some local grocery stores they won't give you the shipping crates i've tried uh you can take them apart and you reuse the wood to make a gardening box easy yeah dr p in my area i tried getting my getting some shipping crates um, but they wouldn't give them to me i tried a couple of different places then why is no one using crypto as actual currency why can i buy at amazon with it um, because the u.s government has approved hasn't approved it a form of currency amazon centralized power that will do anything that the u.s government tells it to do um, because right now people are holding holding on to their cryptos because they're on the assumption that the value of cryptos is going to continue to rise so they're using it as an investment right somewhere they're parking their money not as a form of currency where you're doing trade right we have a president candidate running for office right now and warning us the same thing her name is tulsi gabbard tulsi gabbard i the more i hear about tulsi gabbard and hear her talk and what she says she's phenomenal uh isn't her primary platform unfortunately it takes more than just the president to tip the scales boop she has been booped uh google uh, with crypto is acceptable on amazon is is uh, amazon accepting cryptos dr p 
I, as far as I know, they're not accepting uh, Bitcoin. In Germany, there's a lot of talk about the after Merkel era now. It seems uh, beside uh, right-wing populists rising, we could have a new left-wing majority because Green uh, Party is doing really good in polls. Yeah, I saw that. There could even be a, a Green Chancellor after Merkel. Hopefully, but I don't. Th I don't think it's reached that level yet, uh, Germany. Uh, if you do get it, wow, that'll seriously tip the scales. Tulsi's platform being against regime change, offensive wars. I'm sorry I missed it, but where did you say you were from before you moved to Canada? Iran. <laughs> Tony. I like Tulsi Gabbard. I saw her at uh, Joe Rogan and she was for helping whistleblowers. Yeah. Vote Democrats. Again, thank you for the bits. I just got to the bits part now. I'm catching up with the chat chat it would also suck because I know you're from Iran Chicho yeah I don't have, I have very distant relatives there I haven't been back for 40 years like Canada is my country I'm a West Coast Canadian right but I'm against any type of war what does the US ta take back with them after they win a war oil uh, no, Oops. US, U.S. hasn't won a war in a number of decades, uh, Hannah. The, U, the United States has not really won a war in a number of decades. Their purpose is scorched earth, destroy, right? Because that feeds their economy. Okay. It's a war machine. They have a product. They need to use it. What are the products? Bombs, bullets soldiers machinery the supreme no the supreme leader of iran is not elected uh, it's but there are elections that are run and local governments and regions are elected leaders that make decisions for those elite uh, regions right it's as far as i know it's the only uh, like for example the difference between Iran and Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia is a brutal dictatorship right brutal dictatorship disguised as a full-on theocracy religious theocracy running the government right they don't no one really believes that the house of Saud right the top people in the house of Saud have religious beliefs no one really believes that that they're religious people no one right not even not even themselves it's just a facade right so brutal dictatorship theocracy right iran is a demo democracy that has a theocracy in the background right it's sort of a balance between the religious beliefs and the democratic movement the democracy in the country the elections and all that jazz totally different systems Saudi Arabia does not want uh, or those controlling the religious institutions in Saudi Arabia and all these brutal dictatorships do not want the type of system that Iran has to spread in the Middle East because that means they will lose total power right they won't be able to to wage war on anyone that they want right they will still be democracy people running the government uh, so it's their different systems it's interesting take back uh, the right for the oil to only be purchased and sold by US dollars therefore making it valuable yeah Dr. P is like uh, Iraq came out and started trading oil in euros. Iran has said and has been trading oil in other than US currencies. Venezuela has done the same thing. Libya, gold back currency, uh, gold back currency, uh, African currency, large supply of oil. Syria, 
oil pipelines, Golan Heights, Iraq, um, Af Afghanistan with Unical pipelines, right? It's just, it's just basically supremacy. Uh, militarily, they haven't won a war, but what they're doing is destroying any country that goes against the economic infrastructure that the United States has set up around the globe, right? And that's collapsing and rightfully so and it's collapsing because of decisions made by the u.s uh united states right when they don't allow the swift system to uh, allow transactions that have to do with iran that's illegal internationally they made it they made an agreement saying that they would never do that right that's basically trade war full-on war right they're preventing someone from using uh, their resources for the well-being to better their society how do you feel about how the media portrays immigration into Europe it's ridiculous is it uh, as problematic as they make it out to be yes it is problematic Zara for sure but the way they portray it is ridiculous uh, I could understand if it is but only because of it being a matter of infrastructure stability I'm not sure if there's any country able to handle a massive refugee influx uh, sorry uh, the refugee problem is a problem is a legitimate problem those who don't want open borders have a legitimate concern right however their concerns uh, majority of them they're putting their energy uh, and fighting the wrong battle right the battle should be against their own governments their banking system right so it is problematic but the way the media is portraying is is ridiculous okay because they're not really talking about the main issue which is the western government destroying countless countries and raising uh they just annihilating the homes and infrastructure for millions tens of millions of people around the globe those people have no choice but to leave right it's less about the oil being taken by the u.s and more about it being privatized that's what the capitalist class actually want and 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 the mercenary groups and the and the halliburtons that basically support the military provide the food and this and that the housing and all that jazz right it's just a c consuming machine like that's what I usually tell people that the military industrial complex or war is the perfect consuming machine right it feeds an economy for the short term in the long term it bankrupts nations empires right but for the short term which is basically what the election cycle is about it's a perfect consuming machine has been done to approve oil um, so dr. B when research has uh, been done to prove that oil is in fact a renewable resource that is created at a depth lower than that what fossils are found in the earth being created almost like blood in the body dr p what dr p is mentioning is something that uh, is it is in the f to a certain degree on the forefront a certain degree not in the forefront uh, russia has been has done a tremendous amount of work on this uh talking about that oil is not really uh organic matter but produced deep deep down within the earth and it will continue to replenish uh, i'm on the sidelines on how viable that is and how real that is but i know it could very possibly be uh, one of the main mechanisms france uk germany stop bombing other countries then no refugee crisis basically 100 percent himawari completely agrees rss hasn't their supreme leader been in power for 30 years uh, i wouldn't say hannah he's in complete dictatorial power right he has to make um he has to work with the elected leaders and stuff like this on certain matters he has full power on certain matters he doesn't Utah Jazz I was thinking about that as well Bitcoin uh, 
spenders can now use the lightning network to shop at e-commerce sites like amazon oh okay cool dr p though through third party yeah okay so it's not anonymous it's not it's not you have to go through another party so you're losing transactions right you're losing there's going to be fees associated with this and you're monitored so it's not the ideal crypto fun drinking game watch Tulsi Gabbo's speech and drink every time she says aloha <laughs> you don't chance you can spend a crypto anywhere visa is accepted can you but then again you're going through a visa you're going through a node that tracks you to me that's not really spending crypto to me that's investing in crypto selling your crypto into a fiat doing your transaction all of it monitored right good morning chicho sheldon good morning how are you doing hey folks red van are we talking crypto points to chat we have been yeah wow lost a lot of chat the here's the kicker with crypto right now that crypto is at three nine thousand cryptos conversation is coming up when crypto was down around three thousand we did these current event talks and stuff like this and i mentioned we were talking about investing politics news and for a couple of streams there was no discussion of crypto and i mentioned hey how come no one's talking about crypto that's because crypto was down now that crypto is up around nine thousand there's more crypto discussion right people are talking about buying cryptos so exchanging crypto once that kind of thing starts happening you might be at the beginning stages of another bubble being formed or you might be at the peak of the bubble i don't think we're at the peak of the bubble of the next wave okay however it's telling me that people are chasing the value of bitcoin not the concept of cryptos right they're chasing the price increase not the viability of it right which to me is not what it's all about there aren't any no-go areas in germany there aren't any no-go areas in germany as far as i know i'm gonna zoom down gang casey how's it going how's life welcome back to another stream <laughs> arguably the last war the u.s won was world war ii and u.s did not play the major role in winning world war ii russia did okay without russia u.s world war ii was not won by the allies since then have been police actions thugs usually end in stalemates yeah uh, where are we where are we okay i'm going to start reading from the bottom and working my way up and then when stuff comes up i'll start sorry if i missed anything gang if i missed anything any questions directed my way or any comment that i made that needs a little bit of correction please post it again and i'll try to catch up on that there's a lot of discussion going on between uh, people as well and iran is starting down the path of democracy why did the U u.s ally with the saudis rather than iran for oil seems completely backwards to their world freedom mantra think um, because they cut a deal with the house of Saud but the house of Saud much love, brother, much love to you as well Casey because the house of Saud made a deal that they would only sell oil in US dollars and that way they would get US backing right that's the deal so it's not necessarily just about the oil where the oil is being pumped who controls the oil it's about the pipelines it's about the transportation of oil but in a big way it's about the petrol dollar look into petrol dollar okay and the his history of petrol dollar and how the middle east was divided between the u.s and the uk the u.s basically said they will control the oil in iraq the oil in saudi arabia will be theirs the UK could have the oil in Iran. This is before Iran nationalized it and all that's jazz, right? So there's a lot of backdoor dealings by Western powers for the resources of other nations. <laughs> right? Because they were just at brute force. 
it's not immigrants burning cars either this uh, disenfranchised youth yeah yeah like what's going on in Europe uh, Dante's mentioning I think this is about Europe a lot of things are being blamed on the immigrant population and there are certain things that are that the immigrant population is responsible for but not all of it not by a long shot a lot of it is because people have been as Dante says have been completely disenfranchised they're out of the economic system okay that's just one agenda or the other absolutely Germany would have lost World War two regardless of US uh, became involved the US becoming involved probably at most made the war shorter than it could have yeah that's it and by very little is geopolitical uh, Armanan Sitkos Armanan why do you think Syria and Russia are best buddies because that's the only country USA and their Arab allies can't build pipeline to trans transport their oil to Europe it's a big uh, yikes to build pipelines in water for many reasons this is what the war in Syria is about in a big way okay the Shiite Crescent Saudi Arabia and Turkey tried to cut a deal with Syria to build their pipeline through Syria to get oil natural gas with Qatar into Europe Syria said no they cut the deal with Iraq and Iran as soon as they did that the war in Syria began the war drums started kicking up high like over time right one of the other things was the Golan Heights one of the reasons that the war in Syria occurred was because of the pipelines because Syria uh, is allies with Iran and Iran will support Syria to the death because Syria uh, Assad's father when the Iraq Iran war happened Iranians will never forget right really Iranians are some of the best diplomats in the world and they're some of the greatest allies you can ever have in terms of mass in terms of country right during the Iran Iraq war Syria was the only Arab country that sided with Iran saying that what Saddam Hussein was doing was wrong all the other Arab countries sided with Saddam Hussein Iranians will never forget this and they made a deal with Syria and said you supported us you spoke the truth we will always back you okay so when Assad got into trouble when they said the pipeline no we're going with Iran coming through Iraq we're not going to ally with Saudi Arabia and Turkey and Israel and stuff like this they start the war against Syria Iran supported Syria backed them up rightfully so okay one of the reasons that the war in Syria occurred was more than just the pipelines because it's sectarian it's not religious right so just imagine the Western governments waging a war against the only Arab nation that is not a theocracy right it's a dictatorship but it's not a theocracy it's not religious fanaticism right what the other reason one of the other reasons was was the Golan Heights Golan Heights has water gas natural resources and what just happened in the last few months the United States came out and said we gift the Golan Heights to Israel how in the world can they gift someone else's territory to another country because that was part of the plan part of the plan was to dis destroy Syria and then Israel would gobble up the Golan Heights right for security reasons and Turkey would get parts of that and stuff like this and they would instill their own fanaticism in there right Syria is a crazy concept just all those people that support the war in Syria they're on the same level as a third okay I know the kind of people who would burn cars add Germany to the list of countries uh, doubting Iran was behind the bombing no the really any country that comes out and supports US's claim that Iran is starting to wage war doing these kinds of operations you know guaranteed that your government does not support you it is controlled by Washington 
Okay, that includes Canada. I'm still hoping that I don't know what the liberals have said, but I know this in Canada. If the conservatives come into power, 100% they will go to war for the military industrial complex, the bankers, and the and the uh, the the oil industry okay so if you're in a country and your leaders come out and say Iran did this and we have to go to war you know those leaders are not don't have your best interest in mind or the best interest of your country in mind okay they are paid lackeys when given the opportunity get rid of them and look into their activities and their bank accounts and if you can find them taking payments and bribes and representing the war machine prosecute them according to your laws in your country and throw them in jail seize all their assets take away their passports do whatever you need to do to get rid of these war warmongers and war criminals i'm glad you're around man. casey are you guys getting some uh, <laughs> troll action going on i hope not thank you for taking care of business gang if uh, if you're getting some action i grew up in troubled neighborhoods in vienna so you're austrian dante of course this is beautiful what an absurd thing to say da, 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 da. refugees have no reason to burn cars since they are usually uh, cared for it's unemployed youth that burn cars and also dante one other thing agent provocateurs burn cars okay these are basically police or hired lackeys or mercenaries that um, infiltrate peaceful rallies and start destroying things and burning things down agent provocateurs look that up for western governments canada canadian police have acted as agent provocateurs during peaceful demonstrations where families have kids walking peacefully with permits during peaceful demonstrations where the police dressed up as the black bloc try to start riots why in the world those police officers were not arrested prosecuted and thrown in jail and their uh, their superiors that told them to do this why that did not occur says a lot about the regimes the countries that we live in canada is one of them okay look into agent provocateurs during the uh, g8 uh, or g20 demonstrations in montreal or quebec okay it was uh it was in 2010 i believe or 2000 i can't remember what day it was okay what year it was the reality is that the immigrant youth in europe is not in the same position as the poor in the u.s there is welfare there is free university the over uh, presentation in crime can't be explained by the same reasons as in the u.s iranians are also super smart and don't forget stuff uh, they're politically worldwide historically iranians know their history better than anyone else that from any other country that i've met maybe aside from the irish the irish know their world history extremely well right extremely well for some idiotic reason some westerners think iranians are cavemen or something yeah it's anybody that thinks on that level it just tells me a lot about them right welfare doesn't solve the problem of an unemployed youth no we put same level of do people still actually believe us when they say something i don't I don't believe any Western governments when they say anything, or any governments really when they say anything. Libya and Gaddafi, he say uh, he he don't want to take petrodollar for his oil. He wants gold instead. Suddenly, he's the worst guy in the world, and he's destroying his own people. 
even though libya was one of the best looked after countries in their region today libya is a shithole after that yeah it, uh, what they did to libya is one of the most insane insane things ever right not because they did it because we've known they've done things like that but because of the silence of what western taxpayer money was used for people in canada united states majority of people in canada united states didn't give a rat's ass what we did to libya you bring that up and people dismiss it i to me that is mind-boggling right uh, just a completely mind-boggling what are you even talking about <laughs> you remember the ottawa thing oh yeah there we go yeah is that the agent provocateur stuff uh in the u.s we usually only burn cars if a sports team just won or lost the championships same with canada then they get caught because they were wearing their police uh, issued boots yeah there's three of them remember that wow wow that was incredible wasn't it and the leaders of the the people who organized the peace rally they were like they were like hey wait a second who are you guys and they're like wait 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 these people aren't with us they what well, they're all wearing the same boots they got rocks in their hand they're covering their faces they're trying to break glass they're trying to start a riot and they were like hey there's women and children here what are you guys doing who are you they closed them off and then these agent provocateurs undercover police trying to start a, a riot right slowly walked up to the police line and say hey we're cops get us out of here and the police pretended they were arresting these undercover cops that are trying to start a riot in canada where there's women and children elderly right they pretended to arrest them they took them in and then later on it came out that their superiors had told them to go there and create chaos and start a riot so the police could move in and arrest a whole bunch of people this happened in canada right people really have to appreciate this it went through the court system and the judge said yes their superiors gave orders for these cops to go into a peace rally to start a riot in canada those superiors got promoted what really holy camoles random trolling sure is fun. <laughs> i guess i've got nothing better to do mercenaries mochas indeed there was a lot of talk about agent provocateurs with the g20 in hamburg in 2008 but i don't know much about that can you be gay in iran uh no but you can get a set you can get a sex change hannah you can if you're deemed to be uh you don't you associate yourself with a female or a male the you iranian government will pay for your sex change operation they recognize that right every country has their issues really no you can't be gay in iran right you can't be gay in saudi arabia you get your head chopped off in saudi arabia right you can't get a sex change operation in saudi arabia the government of iran will pay for your sex change operation because they recognize that okay every country has its problems should we wage war because they have their problems but there is defined evidence of police brutality that recently happened in where was it in austria is gay rights the new excuse to bombing countries hey chicho hope you're doing well spider beans beans how are you doing brother <laughs> uh beans you're on uh, twitter as well i think you end up liking a lot of my tweets i think thank you for that 
Levia, welcome back. How are you doing? I hope life is treating you well. Oh, by the way, do you think the people who set that building on fire at the Yellow Vest protest were agents? I don't know. They could very well be. I personally don't believe any of these peace rallies, the riots and things being burnt down and stuff as being the people who organize the rallies. Okay. For example, one of the things police do to you know, for the cameras is they go park a police car right in the way of a peace rally, right? And then they have sometimes agent provocateurs or just random people people who aren't very smart come around and destroy the police car and then they all the new jays agencies take pictures of the police car saying this demonstration is violent right and that gives the go-ahead for the police to go in and beat some heads i don't believe any police agency in any country police forces are there to protect capital okay to protect assets to protect wealth that's it if you look at history what policing police forces have done throughout history you'd be horrified at what police forces have done throughout history they're not your friends they're not there for the community they're there to protect money period i'm sorry if there's any of you guys watching police officers or anything like this and you have friends or family that are police officers but that is who they are I do as well okay and I've talked to this about talked to my friends about this as well who are police officers or one of them anyway they know what they're there for but they're trying to work within the system and do good when the hammer comes down they will be forced to beat their own family because that is their duty to protect money okay besides it's legal now anyways shouldn't be an issue for them ba, 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 ba. need to smoke a fatty and rethink themselves <laughs> brazil just criminalized homo uh, homophobia and transphobia criminalized it or they beans they just like the government of brazil is extremely homophobic right they've been in brazil there's been a lot of uh, transgender and lgbtq community leaders that have been uh, brutalized in sweden we have uh, this left-wing group called afa supposed to be sponsored by soros and his friends they go to peace demonstrations and rallies and throw rocks at people and police the police don't do anything to this group called a afa uh, they more or less work together yeah soros is bad news afa just meant means anti-fascist and it's a particular group uh, i got to go this suck thanks for popping by wish i could stick around longer have a good one you too you too yes i love your tweets man <laughs> awesome beans i've been meaning to become a little bit more active on twitter um i might be i might be i might start laying down some quotes of things that i'm reading uh just to kick things up a notch police and the military is only to protect the interest of the state nothing more not protect the citizens or anything i agree exactly right in my opinion individual cops can be good but the police force itself is inherently flawed and destructive 100 percent agree utah jazz bolsonaro cr criminalized homophobia i think bolsonaro probably criminalized homosexuality right the lgbt community i don't think he's done it but he would love to do it no the supreme court that barcelona hates it yeah brazilian president Jair bolsonaro criticized the country's supreme court after they ruled to criminalize homophobia making it a crime equivalent to racism in brazil cool. he called it completely wrong i think i'm gonna head off brother I'm making some butter and bread have a good one hopefully see you soon hopefully see you soon casey and by the way casey um 
we're gonna start doing more chill live streams and a lot more videos just chill videos now that the school year is out uh, almost out I got one more week of students to deal with right but we're gonna get back into more ASMR stuff brother I know you've been missing those and I have been as well so there's gonna be a lot more content on that level coming up and we're gonna do some live stream gardening uh, I gotta maybe even this week if I get the chance I gotta sort out my uh, what do you call it grape vines that are coming in and tie them up and get them going in a sort of a canopy form right thanks for popping by by the way thanks for popping by fun fun let me show you what i got for food i've caught up with the chat i missed a whole chunk i'm sorry check this out tahini and apple gardening yeah eduardo how's it going tahini with honey i mix this with honey and apple makes a good little dip made some more gardening sounds fantastic yeah i'm looking forward to it i already did a whole bunch of gardening i already set up our patio and there's some plants i gotta take care of Mm. apple and cinnamon would be great i've never actually done cinnamon apple with my with the tahini dip mm. good idea we got a second for the gardening that's cool crazy bro Athen. hey everyone hope you're doing great I'm doing fantastic thank you hope you're having a fantastic sunday my challenge to a game i challenged chicho to a game with backgammon <laughs> i would love at some point we're going to do some gaming and we'll start playing some games and stuff like this i i'm back at playing monopoly with my gaming group or have been because i go to vancouver and they're there and stuff like this uh, in the last one i've invited them all to come here in august so we can do another gaming marathon weekend hopefully monopoly maybe axes and allies as well we'll see if they end up showing up all right so i'm trying to get a monopoly uh gaming weekend happening here live stream again because we did a live stream of it before uh for august finger crossed we can get it done a couple of our people from the gaming group are in different countries right now so which crypto uh brother red van for sure but, but share away I, um, I don't know if i know anything about it depends i love to see you play chess chicho i love chess. you know what my chess was way more powerful when i was like 12 years old i used to play a lot of chess in my youth gaming marathon yeah playing video games would be so cool yeah i've been meaning to do it beans i just haven't got around to it i need to upgrade my system uh and i have to acquire some stuff so slowly this summer i'm going to be reorganizing getting some stuff done and then when the next school year kicks in um because we just basically let you know where i am because i moved cities i lost a lot of my clients right so i've come to this new city it's close by but because i lost a lot of my clients my funds came down for the last couple of years so i've been burning off a lot of my well all my <laughs> what do you call it all my uh, savings right but slowly this year i ended up getting a few clients and few distant clients and stuff like this so at the beginning of next year i should have a wave of clients coming in so my funds should be able to kick up a little bit more and if it kicks up significantly enough as well as what i can generate online uh through support and crowdfunding and stuff like this and ad revenue or whatever it might be right whatever pipe streams i can get in as soon as my funds kick up a notch 
we're um, getting some surplus I'm gonna start taking that surplus and buying equipment that I need to be able to kick things up to another level right introduce new things just to let you know where I am with my finances and the plans of where what we plan on doing here and on YouTube and BitChute and everywhere else <coughs> Scottish opening is my favorite opening in chess. I don't know the Scottish opening. Chain link, seriously, check it out. Chain link, that's the crypto, eh? It's still somewhat unknown because of an active FUD campaign to suppress normie interest. I can send you a relevant link if you want. Uh, Red Van, if you can, um, provide the link in this in discourse in our discourse forum that'd be fantastic instead of sending me links directly put the link in discourse that way you know it's not just me vetting it other people can take a look at it and if they're interested they can take a look at it as well right i'm all for sharing information openly right so if you have something that you want to send me please link it up in discord that way there'll be more eyes on it just in case I don't get the chance to look at it right away okay you should play Trump the game <laughs> I don't know Trump the game back backgammon marathon I'm trying to get my backgammon marathon I'm trying to get my grandma to come here again so we can live stream uh, games with grandma again backgammon games with grandma if I find someone here uh, that their backgammon is as strong as mine or my grandma's uh, and they're good friends because if, if I'm playing backgammon with someone for multiple hours I like to uh, it's best if I, I enjoy being in their company right so it's a very finicky thing yellow punch is salam alaikum salam alaikum how are you doing that totally exits by the way I posted an economics awesome thanks red man uh, praise be nice we got crypto lovers here good 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 it's the latest news it's the latest news okay awesome awesome beans awesome chicho soon I'll be supporting you with patreon once I get my funds in order I unfortunately was laid off oh that's unfortunate beans yeah like for me my funds are bare minimum right as you know looks like it just went up <laughs> 50 cents or 0 0.5 0 0.5 units recently or percent i don't know if that's a percent or cents or whatever it is grandma kicked your ass yes yes she did there's a few rounds we played she kicked my ass right now by the way my grandma every year we start a new tracking like who's winning and stuff like this this year grandma has won more rounds than me for number of years at the end of the year we tally things up i've always in general won more rounds than grandma this year she's winning more rounds she's kicked it up high mode right it's 91 years old she's kicking my ass holy this is 0.45 nice when did you get in trump the game was terrible monopoly ripoff board game from the 80s <laughs> hilarious and others been holding it since 15 cents chain link besides uh, Beyonce handled the bear market quite well okay cool that's one thing you can tell if something handles the bear market well the odds of them coming back is better right I got in 2018 but then I believe the FUD and uh, sell it at a, a minor profit before I got back in again I read the uh, white paper and unlike all the other BS crypto chain links is legit cool the white paper is ridiculously important that people very people read basically their plan their business plan for a certain crypto right raven coin as well raven coin cool I don't know raven coin they don't do marketing hence why it's flying so much under the radar highly valued project really raven coin i gotta 
here. Uh, Dr. P, if you get a chance, post these what you think is good in Discord. Why not? Right? Being in the US, hearing the word Trump has just been so exhausting. Our nation is really at a stressful point. Yeah. And that's by design, Beans, I think. The in Canada as well, they're able to maintain control by always putting on their people under stress immediate the time they crunch the time thing everybody thinks that they need to do things right away immediately do this do this do this so the critical thought is gone they become reactionary and once you have a population under that kind of control where you can move them in any direction in any second you want you have complete control right i see that with my friends and family and stuff not all of them right but some i see that they're totally reactionary and their lives are chaos right um, they need to break that what are the wishes you want to fulfill in your life chicho i mean what what would you like to still achieve um athens i'm working on building my math curriculum that's ridiculously important to me uh, I want to be able to when it's all said and done hopefully I'll be able to do this I can you know close my eyes and know that there's modules out there to teach people mathematics okay and empower them I'd like to have a whole library of ASMR content to provide people uh, with stress relief and just I don't want to say motivation but just sharing what I do in my life and how I've dealt with the blows that life uh, deals you right how I was able to pick myself up just basically sharing acting as a node to make other people's journey as easy as possible and share my experiences and knowledge and stuff like this which is what I'm doing right now right we've got 700 videos out <laughs> lots of articles I've spoken my mind freely for the last online like presence online since blogging for 12 13 15 how many years uh, almost 15 years I've been blogging right before that I had email lists and stuff like this so I am doing what I what I hope to achieve but there's so much more to do right hopefully I'll never finish it because throughout all of this process i'm learning i'm educating myself right and that is really what life is about to constantly learn and grow and uh, develop ideas let go of certain beliefs certain dogmas introduce new new concepts into your life and incorporate them into your life introduce introduce new people friends and family into your life interact with them I, I am doing what I what I hope to achieve I just hope that I can continue to do it for uh, for as long as possible right the world is a reflection of the inside all is perspective focus on the outcome you see most fit cheers cheers well do okay awesome thanks dr. B if you post it uh, in discord that'd be great Chainlink basically solves the Oracle problem that comes along with smart contracts that is based on Ethereum, meaning it verifies your contract if something has changed and it's being adopted and integrated by the big players. Google. Google's in the chat. Yes, I wrote Google, being the latest of them. When that news hit, Chainlink jumped up by 70%. Cool that's a good point cheers dr. P says or bean says to dr. P it's good to share what you have learned people should um, should do more of that most people who learn heavy lessons close themselves in their cocoon and never share what is so sorry for others the smart learn from his mistakes the very smart learn from mistakes of others 100% Athen. crazy bro Athen. I agree with you if you only learn from your own mistakes because your life is limited and the amount of time you have 
to experience things is limited you only learn a limited number of lessons if you learn from other people's mistakes they have along with you multiple lives multiple experiences they make multiple mistakes if you can learn from them wow you be a very very wise man beans chisho do you know any ways to make money from home i'm currently stuck in a rut with jobs um one of the things beans i did in the past was i would buy things i would look around to see what was selling on ebay or what was selling online and i would try to find things that people wanted and i would sell those right so for example just i'll just give you one example one simple example a uh, comic books is one for sure but one of the things i did a while ago and i did it very little right but it's a good example i use it uh, to tell people uh, i don't know if you know the magazine ad busters okay it's like a magazine format prestige format it's a political magazine they they started producing work in late 90s right and they're located in vancouver and when i was living in vancouver i knew where their office was right so i would go to ad busters and they always had their magazines out that you could buy their more most recent and whatever overstock they had right and you could buy them for like two dollars okay and on the on the magazine stands it was selling for i don't know like ten dollars or something or eight dollars or something at the time this is like 20 years ago right so i would go to their office buy a few copies of their magazines and then go on ebay and sell them stuff that i bought for two dollars or three dollars i was selling anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 dollars that was generating a little bit of revenue and then i would flip that and buy more and sell more i don't think you can do that with ad busters now the little blip is over but there's lots of little blips all over the place right so one thing you can do is find something that people are looking to buy in your local vicinity that is being produced there and sell that another thing you can do is buy in bulk certain things take them apart sell them in pieces and in general you end up making more money than when you bought it in bulk right but it's something you're gonna have to know about okay and the other choice beans do you know mathematics if you know how if you know mathematics start tutoring okay put your name out math or science or anything like this put your name out and start getting clients and start teaching tutoring them in math or physics or chemistry or english or anything like this that's one way that you can generate revenue and it's time-based okay and if if you're good word of mouth goes out okay i feel that yeah that's about the mistakes i have got to be more social the past decade i've really shut out putting myself out there and have uh, gone inward now should learn to bring that in and out yeah i've gone through those phases too dr p but right now uh, i went through a bit of ups and downs but i've reached the state where i don't give a just to put it lightly i don't give a rat's ass what people think about me right i know i'm doing the best that i can and i have a certain amount of experience and knowledge and i will gladly share that information right so to bring myself out of that social isolation i realize that i don't care what other people think uh, and i put myself out there and once you put yourself out there you will be challenged and what you'll find out is or what i found out was some of my beliefs were bs or dogmas so by putting myself out there i realized that some of the beliefs that i had were flawed so i adjusted accordingly and i'm very grateful for that because that has improved my life tremendously right there's nothing wrong with being an introvert to be honest yeah but there are lessons to be learned in group rather than individuals yeah there's really good idea beans says you're lucky 
uh, Dr. P, you're a lucky one to have uh, get out of the cocoon. Many stays stuck, uh, stuck in into it. Yeah. In the perfect place, at the perfect time, in the perfect way. <laughs> Athens. To become rich, you have to come with an original idea everyone need. An example I can give is a Frenchman that started to sell sea salt. In the beginning, everyone was laughing him, laughing him out, but now he sells sea salt to most laboratories over the world. Uh, you ever can buy uh, ocean water of all of all uh, ocean water of all oceans of the world. Of course, this whilst nothing compared to the internal spiritual richness. What is a rich person with no spirit? If you get what I mean, 100% Athens. And uh, Crazy Bro, uh, what you said at the beginning, uh, to become rich, you have to come up with an original idea uh, that everyone needs. I disagree with that statement. There's a few ways that you can generate revenue. One of them is to come up with an original idea, 100%. But original ideas don't necessarily make someone wealthy, uh, materially wealthy anyway, right? You have to be able to implement that stuff. So you can come up with original ideas and original things and sell them and become wealthy, monetary-wise anyway. The other thing you can do is uh, do something that's called value added. You can take something that's already there and add a little bit of value and roll that over, right? Buying in bulk, breaking those things up, cleaning up, restoring furniture, restoring things, you're adding value and selling that and you're making money, right? So there are multiple ways you can do it you can come up with new ideas you can do value added stuff you can do consulting you can do advising and stuff like this there are different ways of uh, generating wealth and spiritual wealth uh, mental wealth mental well-being are obviously the most precious you can acquire and you can work on right because once you're mentally physically stable and as long as you can put two and two together you should be able to uh, live a comfortable life at least anyway I feel like time stops though for me and the world just goes by how to become rich make the stupid people actually believe they need your product or provide a product to people that really need it that has been missing in their lives right so what's a product uh, uh, yeah, yeah for, for me uh, mathematics I'm creating a product not for the stupid people but for the people that want to become better in mathematics right so I'm not going trying to sell my thing my services to stupid people I'm trying to sell my services to wise people who know they need to acquire a skill to be able to improve their lives right so the the model that you're talking about is the corporate uh, model to a certain degree I know you're probably joking but some people take that seriously right the secret to riches is to know we are all already rich awesome saying dr. P we are all, all already rich most of us starsky how are you doing greetings greetings good day tip top dr p says nice oh my god these current live streams i don't check the time and stuff they go by uh, current event lives they go by so fast we've already been at this for almost two hours the funny is that the uh, that silver is more seldom than gold still gold is more expensive than silver seems they succeeded to put your idea in work i don't know if silver is less uh, less common than gold i think uh, i think silver is more common uh, crazy bro but i have to i'm going by memory i'm going to be uh, cynic i'm going to be cynic but i don't really subscribe to all the we're all rich we we have the capacity to become rich and in the western world and by the way this probably applies to the western world half the world hasn't even made a phone call 
I'm a materialist in that sense. Okay, cool. Great. Very valid point, right? But in the Western world, I think most of us are in the Western world. Um, I think Dr. P is in the United States, I believe, or maybe India. I'm not so sure. Uh, but what I tell people around me is that we're extremely rich. Like, really, we're like, I'm like saying, like, I'm on budget. But compared to the majority of the world, I'm in the top five percent, and so is everyone else that lives here where I am. We're in the top five percent in terms of wealth, uh, majority of us anyway. Uh, if you compare it to the rest of the world, right? There are people that have serious issues here. There's homelessness in in Victoria and Vancouver is over the top is crazy right but a lot of that has to do with mental illness a lot of that has to do with uh, the economy just destruction of uh, of their hopes and dreams right and people didn't know how to deal with that or family disintegrating because of economic pressure pressures or whatnot right but 99 percent of people living in canada i know in canada anyway we're we're extremely wealthy materially right that being said statistically those who are better off wealthier commit have a higher rate of suicide than those who are poor so that tells you something about their mental state okay telepathy silver is also the natural antibacterial in the environment they use silver to cure the Ebola outbreak in Africa. They use silver in some medicinal bandages. Uh, co colloidal silver, it's called, yeah. And that's one of the reasons I think people uh, with silver spoons and silver cutlery and stuff like this, you ate with silver because, I don't know if it's true or not, but because it was antibacterial, it disinfected things and kept you healthier, I believe, anyway. I live in the UK but was born in uh, Argentina so I know what real poverty is yeah the the poverty we have in Canada is people can't buy what they want in general there is poverty don't get me wrong there is homelessness there is serious uh, mental illness there is serious uh, overdoses drug abuse and stuff like this but as far as percentage of the poor goes uh, percentage of population goes is very little okay and it's totally unnecessary it's completely economic brought on right there's no way we should have homelessness in Canada right but compared to huge chunks of the world compared to the United States like I've been parts of the US where it's crazy it's crazy yeah back in the early old days The rich were eating and drinking out of silver stuff spoons forks knives cups etc yeah yeah and we still like family heirlooms passed down we still have a silver spoon collection somewhere here that we really don't use or silver plated as well more apple and dip more apple and dip tahini honey and apple study any sovereignty um becoming a sovereign dr p is that what you're referring to will you fill out the forms and say you're a human being not under the control of any centralized government i looked into it in the past but it's not the direction i would go i went on a mission trip when i used to go to church from Wisconsin to Tennessee and even then good God the poverty uh, difference is massive yeah certain parts of the states have rolled through and it was like wow amazing people are literally living in shacks in the hills yeah accepting for value discharging the debt 
Accept it. Is that what you're referring to, Dr. P? I follow many main streamers and I've found that many Canadian streamers are much more open minded than American streamers. Can you explain me why? I am from Europe. Um, over the decades, uh, a while ago, we're okay. How do I phrase this? In the United States, they are way more propagandized than we in Canada are or used to be in the past. Okay. Our education system was better. It's not much better than the United States now. It's still better, but it's not as good as it used to be 15, 20 years ago. Okay. So the main reason is, is basically because of the prop propaganda that is prevalent in the United States versus what's prevalent in Canada, even though we're propagandized up the yin yang in Canada. Uh, there's more diversity in Canada where people are accepting of other races, uh, cultures, languages, okay, in certain parts of the world, certain parts of Canada anyway. So we're more of a certain degree melting pot, but not really just saying everybody's the same. We're saying we're recognizing the differences and appreciating differences. That doesn't mean racism doesn't exist in Canada. Racism exists in Canada in a big way, but nothing like the United States to a certain degree. We're not as nationalistic, so we're more worldly. And Canada is more dependent on, uh, it's not as powerful a nation, economically speaking. So because of that, we deal with other peoples in a not a hard-handed kind of way in more of a diplomatic kind of way or we used to okay so there's there's a few different things factors in play and we're not as militarized canada is not a militarized nation hasn't been uh, it's slowly moving in that direction and that has a huge part to play in it right we're in large part very anti-war must be something in the Canadian drinking water that makes them all so polite and likable. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment, but I don't think we're all like that. <laughs> Americans eating too much GMO. Uh, I was going to mention that the food uh, has a huge part to play in it as well. Okay. The water. Really, what you put into your body is the fuel you're burning, right? That's going to affect your mindset. Well, apparently we are all wealthy on paper as well and there is a way there's a way to claim it and all um, bills tax etc it's all paperwork yeah dr p i know what you're referring to uh supposedly you can file papers and if you can get your hands or your own birth certificate that's money that's has value and stuff like this i looked into this a long time ago but man i try to stay away from bureaucracy so it wasn't a direction I was going to go to. How can we be wealthy on paper when 90% of the people have loan on their houses and on their car or cars? <coughs> um, Sticks Araman, <laughs> I still can't pronounce your name. I say we are in debt more than we are wealthy. Um, the, the wealth that Dr. P, I believe, is talking about is. If you dig down deep enough uh, look into what your birth certificate means if there's value associated with your birth certificate if you can get your hands on your birth certificate um, and the debt thing most of it you're gonna walk away from so you can you can actually go into huge debt our economic system is basically in the Western world is not how much money you have it's how much money you can you have access to how much debt you can accumulate right trump is a perfect example right but if you really want to free yourself of that debt build up your uh credit i guess so you can accumulate a lot of money borrow a lot of money right and if you really want to walk away from that debt this is not advice by the way this is not financial advice but people i know people have done this 
you can just borrow tons of money put it into hard assets that you control that you cannot be seized and walk away from your debt and they'll come after you and then you can cut a deal with them and pay a fraction of what you owe and you're wealthy right you won't have credit for seven plus years but if you play it right you will have a home to live in a car to drive and certain assets so it can be gamed and that's how Trump and all those boys got to where they are right it's an illusion to get you to go to work to trade your flesh and blood unknowingly that you're a, you're a, you're a God creation <coughs> Canada is often called a tapestry versus a US melting pot. Tapestry, okay, cool. That's a good way of putting it. Uh, hobo, we're a tapestry. It's all put together, everyone lives together, but like you can go to Korea town, you can go to India town, you can go to Greek town, you can go to uh, uh, Little Italy and different places and different cities where you can eat authentic food and this and that and that, right? So tapestry is a good way of putting it. I didn't know that. In the U.S., we are taught that the U.S. is the best country in the world to the point that when I was a child, I honestly didn't think other countries had freedoms. Yeah, I've met Americans like that, right? Or in the past, anyway. I think the veil is being lifted pretty much now. And all things are created in abundance. And as long as um, that is the focus, that is what is... Uh, perpetuated we are cre creator beings Canada is renting their land from the Queen of England <laughs> even the Canadian police works for the Queen of England yeah which cryptos do you invest in Chicho I don't invest in cryptos um, I accept cryptos as donations but just comparing how much donations I've gotten through cryptos compared to how much donations have gone through fiat currencies and through patreon and stuff like this crypto is not being used as currency okay which is very very unfortunate people are hoarding cryptos that's not the future we need if we need cryptos to be a viable form of trade right of currency we need a crypto cryptos out there where people are willing to part with the crypto i realize that that means the cryptos have to get to a stable level with pricing and stuff like this um but there are serious issues with it canada is rich in natural resources uh, yes unfortunately corporations control their natural resources for the most part entertainment purposes only Disclaimer. you can always repossess physical assets though yeah it's a speculating uh, object the depends on the assets right if the banking institutions don't know that you have certain assets if you have cash advanced gotten cash and bought assets with cash how are they going to know what you have as assets do you believe in the co covert creation of a new world order yeah for sure the the powers that be are always trying to uh, federal reserve and <laughs> the powers that be <laughs> are for sure are trying to consolidate their powers and acquire acquire more power that's what power does it tries to accumulate more power that's the ultimate purpose of power to accumulate more power all right power seldom gives up power right so their new world order is basically accumulating more and more power and passing laws to govern the whole world if we want to call that the new world order i'll call that our current economic system unfortunately canada don't own their land no we own very little like people are an assumption they own everything they don't we don't we barely own anything like people who buy houses think they own the house they don't own the house if interest rates all of a sudden banks decide to kick up the interest rates from you know their mortgage from five percent to ten percent you're out of that house and banks can do that <laughs> dante new world order cryptos will gain in 
value forever right no I disagree I don't see how uh, how investing them isn't a great idea uh, because I don't agree cryptos will continue to increase in value forever not all cryptos right and how is that a bad idea it's not necessarily a bad idea don't get me wrong Utah I'm not saying it's a bad idea if you have a certain amount of your assets in cryptos but if you're parking your money in cryptos that's not a currency that's an asset class that you're buying into okay and all asset classes go through ups and downs okay so and the, and one of the questions is is that asset class liquid and it's going to be liquid at a price that you're willing to let go of it and you're going to be letting go of it at a at a loss or a gain right so cryptos i want cryptos to become currency anonymous forms of doing transactions right secure anonymous forms ways for us to conduct trade i'm not interested in buying into an asset class my asset class is comic books my asset class is building content online right i want a form an anonymous secure way to conduct business that is not under the radar of anyone that wants to watch what was what's taking place the best secure private anonymous form of conducting business that i know of is cash i wish crypto was it but it's not right now uh, one of the reasons is i don't know too many people that accept crypto for their services right and don't get me wrong there are people who like if someone wanted me to do something right and they said hey chicho will you take this many cryptos for this asset for example if i was selling comic books right they would say hey chicho i noticed that you have something on ebay for this many dollars right will you take this much crypto for that comic book i would say yes right i would probably tag on a certain percentage for the transaction fees and stuff but i would take cryptos for comic books i would take cryptos for my services to teach mathematics or physics or whatever right but i don't too, i don't know too many people that accept crypto and personally i'll say this again the amount of crypto donations that i have received relative to the amount of donations i have received through paypal or direct donations or through uh, patreon or whatever it might be cryptos you can't even compare it right so that tells me those people who are holding cryptos are not using the cryptos okay that's my main point we already have a world order and it's horrible agreed dante solar fire could easily change everything <laughs> dr v it's good really good <laughs> that was funny uh, buy gold for the money hide the gold get a good deal wait the years and then get your gold back and it will have increased its value during the same time yeah read the fine print on the contract at the bottom of your own you own nothing you own nothing more crypt most cryptos are bs agreed the bear market trimmed a lot of the bs down agreed thankfully agreed it was like the dot-com crash right in 2000 and in 2000 right trim the fat some of those other tech companies just went through the roof right the incident in indicates that indicates sarcasm i agree to utah is being sarcastic that's what that means does it let's see what does that mean where was that cryptos will gain him oh he was being sarcastic okay so that's sarcasm kappa sarcasm i'll try to remember that <laughs> thanks for the clarification gang i still don't know the facial expressions what they're supposed to mean i'm not sarcastic sarcasm <laughs> you got a loop going there man <laughs> this statement is true following statement is the previous statement was false or what is it the the loop is the following statement is true and then the previous statement is false right yeah sarcasm is a fine line truth truth less confusion how do you feel about the economics of climate change are you in favor of the growth or do you think uh, 
a balance needs to be found a balance needs to be found but i told i'm totally against the carbon tax or anything like this that's garbage that's giving more power to centralized institutions that brought around brought these problems forward to begin with right so i agree that there is environmental damage being done uh that devastating the planet but i totally disagree with the solutions being provided by centralized institutions hello hello pumpkin how are you doing love your videos thank you for being on a live stream pumpkin and welcome to another welcome to a live stream i'm not sure if you've been here before the only way balance is found is uh, it finds itself this earth is far more powerful than any group of humans i agree with dr p far more powerful we mess around too much the earth is going to go <coughs> get off me right it reminds me of the early 90s when collecting baseball cards as an investment became super popular as a result cars from the early 90s are by far the least valuable ones yeah i'll accept crypto nice red pad if i had any crypto i'd buy some services i don't i'm not i don't sit on crypto right or don't know how to because it's not mainstream enough yet no let me tell you the secret with crypto people use bitcoin and other cryptos to buy drugs secretly on the internet and get it posted to their mailbox because it's anonymous it's not normal people using cryptos uh, and governments are using cryptos the u.s government sees a lot of cryptos over the years and they will continue to seize a lot of cryptos so they're using cryptos to fund a lot of their black ops as well there's a conspiracy of getting rid of physical money money will only be valid through electric form yeah and that is the biggest fear we should have one of the big as soon as paper currency anonymous forms of buying and selling are gone you live in a complete totalitarian state be careful it's investors and users user sellers i'm a perfect example of this use it to purchase lsd uh -huh. exactly it's so common today do you buy into the satanic conspiracies yeah there's satanists out there for sure i don't know if i buy into all of it but there are people who worship different things good and evil are two sides of the same coin hail satan <laughs> sarcasm satan satan and sarcasm i get it okay from now on i'll remember that's supposed to be sarcasm it's like uh george george carlin said it uh, said in the in save the planet people are so arrogant towards earth yeah chicho how else would you would you propose to reduce co2 emissions assuming that massive investment in green energy wouldn't yield great results and efficiency i would say first of all uh eliminate all military bases uh external military bases around the globe stop waging war so basically totally pull back from the military industrial complex that'll have more effect on co2 emissions than anything any country is implementing right now that's number one okay i would do that second would be consume less resources shop locally uh, invest in your community and all this jazz stop buying from amazon you, you know what i mean it's more personal choices that matter as well as forcing governments or putting into power people who are willing to pull back on the military war machine that'll reduce co2 more than anything okay i'll just repeat for a final time chain link miss out if you don't care to reach it reach it shrugs dante and all uh domestication of animals dr p i tend to do, agree with that as well i'm not sure if that's viable but that would make huge difference as well I just do all my transactions in back alleys with the banks to avoid currency flop. Banks never go down in value. Hey, you forgot the little sarcasm head. That would definitely help, but I don't know how you would push that through. Well, I think that's that would be way more viable 
than pushing through carbon tax. Carbon tax is just taxing the citizens. It doesn't prevent corporations from doing anything. Spiritual awareness, for sure, that would do it. There's already a lot of resistance against veganism. People like their meat. People like their meat, but you can reduce the meat, right? People are under this assumption that you have to consume a lot of meat. You don't have to consume a lot of meat. You just need a little meat. Or some people need a little meat. You can go vegan as well, right? Connection with cosmic sources. Speaking of the cash society, I was out looking for a new bed. I was going to buy it cash because I like cash. I found the bed. I said I wanted it. When I came to the cash register, they said we don't take cash. Yeah, I've come across that too. I don't buy from them. So just so I just looked at the cashier and said, I don't want the bed. Goodbye. Drove drove to another place close by. Bought my bed with cash without a problem. Yeah. Any place and by the way, there are places that don't accept cash. The hell with them. They're the problem. I will do everything in my means to stay away from them and tell people not to buy from them. And there's places that only accept cash. Those are the places I go to and I recommend people go to those places or they have a big sign that says cash preferred right very good i'm on it love and gratitude prosper how do you get people to do that i'm not sure which uh what you're referring to dante if about the spirituality and connection with cosmic source uh i think it's education uh get them depropagandized dante one of the first things you can do to help reduce our carbon footprint is to depropagandize them okay strong meat but war is a blood business now most wars ongoing now uh, are well orchestrated by the higher elite lobbies to make the weapon industry work well da, 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 wow, lots of talk going on oh wow we're like way past two hours now cool i'm gonna catch up on the stream and we're gonna call it quits pretty soon gang um call, caught up with the chat but more is blah, blah, blah. i'm sick of being lectured day in day out about climate change in the uk they announced this week that we'll have net zero emission by 2050 by increasing taxes i don't believe they'll have net zero emissions by 2050. now while i'm kind of for this i take a take a look around the world and get extremely frustrated china india and russia etc are already vastly greater and set to continue so what difference is me paying more taxes to help when the end result will be exactly the same um i agree with you mick uh i think they're lying our <laughs> centralized powers i'm totally fine with me becoming a luxury item i already don't eat much red meat at all and if chicken has to become a luxury once a month or two months thing i'm game if it saves the world that's not a hard problem and one thing a hobo is once and again it's econ economics once the prices of meats and stuff increase people will start raising chickens in their backyard which they do in my area a lot it's incredible right like for example i can go to a local farm right now and buy 30 eggs okay 30 organically grown organically raised eggs uh, chickens laying 30 eggs for eight dollars and fifty cents canadian right which comes up to like let's say 650 us so i can buy 30 eggs for 650 us organically grown local raised chickens and stuff like this fantastic right at the end of the day corporations serve a demand okay i'm losing the chat so i'm going to go down to the bottom and get caught up with the chat but we are going to probably end the stream in a few minutes um i do have some students that i have to meet today they have exams tomorrow so i gotta get ready um so let's check this out can i get an opinion on electric cars i feel like so many people think differently about them electric cars fine the whole system going electric will de totally destroy crumble our electric system the grid 
Like right now, even if 20% of the cars in my area were electric, if everybody plugged in at night, you probably see uh, power grids collapsing, right? Everybody can't go electric right now. It's going to take decades for that to roll in. China is definitely doing things uh, to reduce their carbon emissions. They are 100%. But you have to keep in mind that these countries are much poorer. Yeah, and they're catching up in industrial growth, right? You think electric cars charge themselves? Dirty industry behind it, 100%, right? Some places, our place, we have dams. The building of the dam was destructive, but it's now renewable, right? Especially per capita, they don't have the same means that Western countries have. I have chickens myself right on chickens are good chicken and they create amazing fertilizer and you get food from them and they eat the bugs and stuff uh, I think climate change is a psyop to move us from the carbon era to the tech era uh, they poison the hell out of the place and have the gall to tell us yeah I agree tell uh, to tell us it's our fault 100% agree Federal Reserve grow your own fruit and veg to 100% you can't expect India to go full renewable not even close climate deniers <laughs> <Don't they? laughs> the solution the environment's being shat on there's no question about it we're having an effect on the environment I think the climate denier thing has two categories those who actually don't think there's anything going on those are rare the main focus is those who don't believe the centralized power has the solution. I'm in one of those. I don't believe our governments are providing us solutions with the carbon tax, with taxing us, right? With passing these laws and all this stuff. They're lying. They're corporatists. I don't want to give them any more power. But it didn't stop uh, Bertha Benz that there is no gas station to drive the first car matrix trusty trusters <laughs> it was a nice stream happy to have found you and see you next time bye everyone have a nice weekend bye uh crazy bro hope to see you again chase Gessie, not really china has been releasing a significant amount of greenhouse gases although they promise to reduce their emissions they will be uh they're moving on to another class of country right so they're going to start improving their environment they're not accepting this garbage they're cracking down on certain industries that are polluting right that's a good thing they are making things we buy and the carbon emission go on their bill you should be looking at carbon emission by consumption not production that's a great idea dante right if you buy solar panels and install them you have to pay taxes so now we taxing the sun uh, that's that's the kicker too right certain states are passing laws to prevent people from putting solar panels up they have to pay extra to put solar panels up because they're not consuming the energy that the state is providing. Uh, crazy right if you're going to drink our water we're going to tax you <laughs> i'd consider myself a climate skeptic it all just seems a little fishy to me We've been told for years and years certain things will happen. We are, uh, we all remember that Al, Al Gore was a piece of crap, right? A lying piece of crap situation. Haha. Uh -huh. I feel there are a lot of scare taxes and exploitations going on. Agreed with you, Mick, one hundred percent. What's fishy about it? Uh, about which one? Thank you, bro. Uh, soon we have a tax on breathing air. Pretty much all the things we were told would happen are happening uh, many things are happening uh, the main thing Livia <laughs> the main thing with the environment people have to appreciate that we're like really what the way we're treating the environment is it's is a cesspool like we've dumped garbage everywhere contaminated water contaminated air contaminated soil destroyed nature brought about mass extinctions all of this is true all of it is true okay but the centralized powers are the problem okay the corporations are the problem not me and you our consumption 
is the problem of <coughs> as Dante mentions right but one of the reasons our consumption has been the problem because we've been propagandized by the political economic system to consume on this level because the GDPs are linked to that right and all of that links back again to the corporations centralization of power if we're able to decentralize power I think a lot of the problems with the environment will kick into high uh, one of the solutions in the environment will kick into high gear okay in the UK uh, you get government subsidies for buying and using solar panels it's a couple of households arsenal also have a mind that climate change there are two sides one side claims there's no problem uh, other side says it's a total chaos and going to hell they all have their own reasons to promote their ideas neither is necessary collect yeah I, I i think the the two extremes are both wrong i think we're in the middle somewhere and we have to sort that out ourselves within our communities climate change is normal climate will always change i don't watch the news at all thanks for all the info i receive here ah my pleasure livia thanks for popping by glad to have you apparently there will be another ice age by the way some people are mentioning that that we're not going into global warming but there's an ice age coming man-made climate change is definitely not normal don't get me wrong the havoc and caused by polluting water air i may pa, 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 pa. okay the conversation is still going gang but i do have to end the stream we're in two and a half hours of this right ah uh, so let's call the stream gang thanks for being here uh, thanks for everything really enjoyed this great conversation uh, and I think that's the this is the best chat on Twitch nice. I think this is uh, what we need right just dialogue discourse uh, challenging ideas preventing so providing solutions or just basically tidbits that we can all think about and having a forum to talk to talk about this and if you guys want we do have a discord oops discord Boop. Uh, you can definitely continue the conversation on discord and link up information if people want to follow certain thoughts and you know challenge their own beliefs and things uh, dialogue is good action is better first place though dialogue begins it communications gives understanding right on right on take care chucho you too starsky starsky okay thanks for being here gang and uh, I'll announce the next set of streams in the next few days once I finish off with uh, my main students okay uh, for the end of the school year I hope you guys have a fantastic Sunday and a fantastic week if um, I don't do a surprise stream or haven't announced anything for the next few days there will be something coming uh, probably midweek or so that's it everyone let's do this again see you next stream see you guys next time you too chicho you too guys you too bye everyone but bye, bye livia bye people have fun with your students i will chicho i will chicho i will livia <laughs> thanks i run my own name <laughs> okay bye everyone hope you have a fantastic sunday peace and love dr p peace and love